This is an invitation for visiting an exhibition at today Art Museum. Its theme is a known unknown. The creator Zheng Da, founder of Low Tech Art App, has won the 2017 Lumen Prize. He has been dedicating to machine awareness and artificial intelligence. This exhibition is like a hard drive, pushing me to find clues from installation arts to participatory arts. Here is my review homework. Installation artworks, also sometimes described as environments, often occupy entire room or gallery space that the spectator has to walk through in order to engage fully with the work of art. It may include all of the senses, touch, sound, and smell. Mixed media, light, and sound have remained fundamental to installation art to today. Interactive art emerged in the late 1950s as a street, the warehouse, or the shopfront became their choice of venue. The art also became more participatory and inclusive. In 1971, Gordon Butler Clark killed a pig and a Brooklyn Bridge and served 500 pork sandwiches as part of the performance. Interactive art is also computer based with the participant responding to the technology set up by the artist at the public artworks of Rafael Ozano Hammer. Participatory art refers to a range of arts practice, including relational aesthetics, where emphasis is placed on the role of the viewer or spectator. The central component of participatory arts is the active participation of the spectator. Digital technology and the Internet's global social networks can promote a sense of participation without the physical gathering of people in any one location. Machine swallows up the human size and becomes alienated. In the palpitation of the touch as captured by the lighting device, driving the animation of the light. When you touch the interactive device, it uploads your heartbeats into the lighting. How your heartbeats resonate this machine but without participation it's just a pure machine with endless labor like the legend of sisyphus This work clearly shows the logic of the machine itself. Once the data is entered into the rolling machine, the mechanical operation will suddenly stop, and a flexible performance will begin, visualizing the data entered. The function of the algorithm can be regarded as a grounder for processing information. A beam of light is dancing in the dark. 
The laser's shooting point is an extension of the mechanical arm. With no arrangements, this feels like a performance on stage, beyond the power of human control. This algorithm generated installation has been rolling over the past 15 months and it collected more than 11,000 hours of data images. The artist composes a computer program that stimulates chain mass that move on the screen, clip and chase each other, leaving their trajectories constantly erased and replaced. The machine expresses self-performance of its own so that audience can understand the rolling logic of the machine and the battalion of it. Routine mechanization is one of the clues of work. Not only does the work focus on the visual experience, but it also pursues for theater effects. 